So we have a 17 tooth freewheel on here. It's a, you know, like a Dicta style one, normally made in China, I think. And I like them, but they're very difficult to get off and they drive you mad. So you have two little holes here, a dot there and a dot there. And this is my way of removing it. And you need a plastic bucket thing, a jar or something similar, something to knock, knock it round and a decent sized hammer. The second part, you're also going to need a vise, but I'll show you the first bit. So use your nail or whatever you're using. Get it into this little round thing. As you tap it, see it's gonna it's gonna do nothing so you actually give it go the opposite way to loosen so start loosening it this one's been off before so it might be slightly looser than your one and so hold it upright and you're loosening it this way There's your top cap thing off. I can't really show you that bit, but there's lots of little ball bearings in there waiting to escape the freedom. Take your coffee jar, stick it on there. And there they all go. And then you take the next bit up like that. That's the inside of your free will with lots of these little bearing things hovering around. So there, there they all are. Uh, so we need to, to get them into the jar as well. If you lose any of these, it can be an absolute pain because you not necessarily will, will have this size. It's all in there waiting. We haven't dropped any. Now all you do is take this, put it in the vise, there and there. Or if you've got something nice, big mold grips and no vise, you could pop them there or there. And you're just going to twist the wheel off the same way as you do with the, with using the tool. And don't do it on these little, um, the little teeth things, because obviously you don't want to damage those. They're, they're important. So we should, we'll twist it off and then what we do is we put it back on and just pour one half so we put the, we'll put this back on with the two little rings we'll pour the bearings back in over this bowl once they're on the one side we'll then pour them back in on the second side and we won't lose our free will. Alternatively you can just smash them up and throw them away but um, sometimes they're useful to keep. Thanks.